It's new guitar day, boys. Guitar. It's new ballast song day. Sorry, I got my hobbies confused there for a second. The temperature here is lowering, and so is my brain function. We got two special packages here. We got a ballast song unboxing to do, but it's not just a ballast song unboxing. We're gonna inject a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh into the dick vein of this video. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, this playmat, it's driving me mad. There's always been this little flap right here that always sticks up and it makes my eyes bleed. Anyway, let's get on to the unboxing. So I'm advertising this as a Balasong video, so we'll do the Balasong unboxing first. So this Balasong was actually sent by a different Balasong YouTuber. It's not Will Hirsch, we've already reviewed the Volp. It's not Artsy, I know that she's got a Balasong out, but uh, I have never spoken to her in my entire life. So while I'm opening it, I'll leave you guys to venture to guess. As to who sent me this? Oh. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, that's cool. This is very small. I don't think this is gonna fit on me. Oh no, it fits fine. Well, spoiler alert, Balasong Flipping has sent me a Balasong to flip. How about that? But he didn't just send that, he sent this cute little bracelet. He sent a buttload of stickers. That is so freaking cool. But those are all the side goodies. Let's open up the main goodie within the little taco case we have. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh man, that is blue. Damn, fool. First flip. Okay. Ah. Okay. I think it may need some knife pivot lube thrown in there. But speaking of KPL, they have a very special new holiday box. So I am gonna tell you about the KPL box here later in the video, but I will let you know that right off the bat, I do have an affiliate link for KPL. So if you use that link in the description of this video, and if you use my code, which is just Den Den BMX, you will get a discount. And I will also get a little bit of kickback from whatever you guys do end up purchasing. But anyway, back to this Balasong. So this thing is made out of aluminum, but you can't really tell because it actually has grip. I've had this Balasong in my hands for a whole 15 seconds, and I really like it. It hasn't slipped out of my hands, which can't be said for 95% of all the other aluminum ballast songs I've flipped. So that's a good thumb for me. <laughs> Let's open up these here uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I know ballast song flipping is also a fellow Yu-Gi-Ohist or former Yu-Gi-Ohist at least. So I think he will enjoy this to some extent. Let me scoot you on up a little closer and we'll do the proper Yugi tuber camera angle. I see you, person watching this video. Don't skip this part, you testicle. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are cool and it's not even gonna take that long. Let's see what we got. They now have all the Crystal Beasts in Ultra Rare. So there's Amber Mammoth, got Topaz Tiger. I feel the way this man looks. I'm sure someone's got a fursona of that. Sapphire Pegasus, this is the blue card. Shout out to America. Of course, the like face of the Crystal Beast cards, Ruby Carbuncle. If you watched Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and you've been around the Yu-Gi-Oh! world, you know that the Crystal Beast cards have been around for a while, but they've never really printed the Dark Crystal Beast or the Advanced Crystal Beast until this set. Now we've got the Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. We got a three of of this little chitlin. And these are in secret rare. These aren't ultra rare. And they look stinky. Emerald Tortoise. Look at that old fart. Isn't that fun? Why am I doing this in this video? Look at that. It's, uh, what's his name from Ice Age? Amethyst Cat is a bit of a goth girl now. Sapphire Pegasus has also become a little emo. And then Cobalt Eagle kind of just looks the same. We have Selene. This girl is very useful. So is Artemis. Uh, not as useful. But what Selene is mainly used for is to summon up this big old bad chungus. Access Code Talker in Secret Rare. There's only been uh, two printings of this card, but now that there's another Secret Rare out, the prices of those went down, and the price of this went down, because there's also a Starlight Rare version of Access Code Talker now that everyone's losing their beans about. This isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, this is a Battle Song video, so let's actually go talk about Battle Songs again. Oh, you thought there wasn't gonna be any B-roll in this video? Well, think again, fucker. <laughs> Okay, if you couldn't tell by the wardrobe change, it is tomorrow, and I flipped this thing all night trying to get a good little idea of how it flip and how it do 
and this thing hurts to flip, mainly because my replicants like to grind off little bits of my fingers whenever I do too many twirls on them. So yeah, that kind of really bothers me when I flip. Not just this battle song, anyone in general. But other than that, I quite like this thing. I'm gonna say this immediately. This is the best blue that I've ever seen on an aluminum handled battle song. It looked at all the other blues that any other aluminum battle song has ever been, and it laughed at them. It laughed at them all the way back home to their stay at home stepdad. This is the new quintessential blue that every Every aluminum handled ballast song should look up to if it also wants to be anodized blue. Now the specs on this bad boy are 7075 channel aluminum handles and as we all know 7000 series aluminum is a lot more gooder than 6000 series aluminum. This has kind of the standard affair for most aluminum handled ballast songs. Bushing system, bronze phosphorus washers, press fit zen pins. I don't know what kind of blade steel this is but I imagine it's like 420 or something like that and I think my favorite thing about it is they made sure that there was something that that helped with grip around the entirety of the handle. So even on the sides of the handles where there's not really any texture or milling pattern, um, there's the jimping at the end, but right here where it's just blank, there is still like a divot. It's like they parted the C's right there. So it kind of almost feels like a sandwich handle construction ballast song, but it's still channel. And uh, that really does help with grip on the side. The jimping on this is also really good. I think this is my new favorite aluminum ballast song jimping. I don't want to say it's sharp because it's not like it hurts, but it has enough of an edge in the jimping to where your finger dig in to where you can actually grip it. A lot of these aluminum handle ballast songs, the jimping either isn't deep enough or it's really rounded, so it really doesn't help that much. And then of course on the faces of the handles, there's just a buttload of design. One thing that I think is hilarious is I can't wait for someone to look at these chevrons and then to say it's a BRS clone. Because I personally think it's hilarious how the ballast song community has begun eating itself with the accusations as to what is a clone. I'm having the best time watching these ding-dongs that think they know what they're talking about say that something is a clone just because it shares like a tiny little aspect of a design with another ballast song, like chevrons in a design. Just because BRS used the first, anytime anyone else uses chevrons in their design, they're like, no, it's a BRS clone. You deserve to die. But then they're also like super picky and choosy about it. Like everyone's gonna say that ballast song flipping cloned BRS just because it has two little chevrons. But with that same logic, wouldn't the embargo technically be a clone of a peon or peon, however you say what that Max Ace knife is called? Everyone's gonna ignore that, but they're definitely gonna point out how since this has two chevrons also, it's definitely a BRS clone. You know, one time someone tried to say that those Nabali G10 balisongs were a clone of a replicant just because it had G10, as if replicants are literally the only balisong that ever had G10. They didn't even have like the slightest similarity in design. It was just like, oh, G10, it's a replicant clone, isn't it? Like, I can't wait till we reach the point where designers can't design anything without it looking similar to something else. And then everyone's gonna have an aneurysm and shit themselves, yelling at them saying it's a clone and that they deserve to die now. <laughs> While we're getting controversial, I think it's probably time we address um, just Balasong flipping in general and why some parts of the community aren't really fond of him based on pretty stupid reasons. Will Hirsch has a video talking about the uh, controversy around Balasong flipping. So if you want like a longer version about the accusations against Balasong flipping and why they were pretty unfounded and kind of goofy. Um, I think you should go watch Will Hirsch's video about that. A lot of it has to do with uh, people taking something he said out of context. Because what a lot of people like to ignore is that context does matter. And a lot of context is missing from the claim that was made against him. And there's a lot of context missing from like all the other claims. Like I know Fifty Shades of Fuck Ass has this whole post trying to call out Balasong flipping because he thinks Balasong flipping made one of his Discord members eat a raw egg to receive a Balasong. Which one is again a gross oversimplification of what actually happened. It's not like anyone peer pressured the kid into eating a raw egg. He already did it before any talks of a free ballast song came into play. And also really that's what you're gonna rage about? You think he forced this kid to eat a raw egg? And you, of all people, are gonna act like he's the worst thing in the ballast song community? That is hilarious. Like just the way he wrote that post, he acts like ballast song flipping told this kid to go stab his sister in order to get a free ballast song. And I just want to reiterate that 50 is the one saying that. 50. The fat cock to anybody within a five mile radius of a Balasong clone who will bully and shame people to the point where they'll leave the community over his predisposition to be a dipshit and not like clones for unfounded reasons that he made up in his own head. It is adorable. And let's not act like there isn't a ton of actual racism in the Balasong community. I've seen that Discord server. You guys are disgusting.
breaking in the new valley. So yeah, I just wanted to mention some of that stuff because I think it's quite hilarious that some of the shittiest members of the Balasong community are trying to label Balasong flipping as like the biggest turd in the community as if it isn't the quack duck calling the stiffling slimy. Yeah, I really like the balance and weight distribution and flippability of this Balasong. I feel like I can do pretty much everything I know how to do pretty easily on this Balasong and not really have to compromise or change the way I do my tricks. It all works pretty well. I'm gonna have to grip this Balasong extra hard to make sure it's not gonna fly out of my hands or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Definitely one of my more favorite aluminum handled Balasongs so far. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the way this thing flips. It is quite a treat. And it's definitely refreshing getting an aluminum handled Balasong that looks awesome and it has this awesome color and I can actually flip it for once pretty comfortably. And honestly, this has a shot to be the aluminum Balasong king in my opinion, from what I've flipped so far. Now I do also have to reiterate that this is a prototype. I don't think the full production versions are ready yet, but uh, Balasong Flipping sent me one, he sent Jack one, and I know he sent a couple other people some as well to test them out and to try out the prototype. But this is a production prototype, I'm pretty sure. So it's an example of what the final version of the Balasong could be. And I think they are pretty close to having a full production version of the Polaris out. The rivets in the sides of the handles as well as the jimping help a lot for uh, choker fans. Parabolics feel good as you can see. The balance on it feels good. It's not doing anything weird or wonky really. I quite enjoy this thing. So to wrap up this video, let's do two sound tests of this battle song. We'll do one dry and then we'll throw some KPL heavy in there and see how it changes up the sound. So here's the dry sound test. You know, pretty nutty, not the craziest thing in the world. Now let us throw some KPL Heavy up in here. So now here's the sound test with some KPL Heavy thrown in there. That changed the sound up quite a bit. Now it sounds a lot deeper, a lot more hollow, and I am quite enjoying that. I mean, it did sound good at first, but with KPL, I think everything sounds a little better. <laughs> Shameless plug, I'm sponsored. Man, I should have thrown KPL in this thing way earlier. This thing sounds way nuttier too. Epic gamer moment. Now to wrap up this video, I want to take a sec and talk about a brand new product from KPL for this holiday season. It is called the KPL Holiday Box. As you can see, there's a nice big picture of it right here on KPL's website. Let's uh, let's click on it and see what it comes with. So they do have a little promo video for it up on their website, but as you can see, it comes with both KPL Camellia and Knife Shield Knife Oil, which is for the actual surface of your blade. This stuff is food safe and it helps stop your blade from rusting and corroding. They also include their favorite brand of thread locker, which is called Vibratite. As you can see, it comes with KPL Original Heavy and Ultra Light uh, Knife Pivot Lube. And then they also have this new product. It's called KPL Dry Film. It's a Teflon lube. So if you like running your ballast on dry, like the king of the dry guys, DJ Eyeless Pyro, you can get this dry film. It's a Teflon lube. Keep everything nice and high performing, but also keeping it dry. It also comes with a pack of the KPL Ultra Micro uh, Q-tip-esque product. So you can really easily get in those pivots and clean out everything real good. It also comes with the KPL Nano Sponge, which is really good for like cleaning off grime off the surface of your knife and what have you. And that is the special bundle that KPL is selling for this holiday season. So if you are interested in the KPL Holiday Box or any of the other awesome products that KPL makes, definitely go down into the bio of this video or even go down into the comments. I will pin a link there. If you click that link and then you use my code, which is just DENDENBMX in all caps, you will get a discount and then I also will get some kickback from your purchase as well. A huge shout out to Knife Pivot Lube for supporting both myself and this channel, as well as a huge thank you for supporting the current channel members, Modern Balasong, Cosmic Steez, Benji, and Yannick Kaminsky. These are the guys that go 
above and beyond and really want to help support the channel in a bigger way by joining the channel membership. If you want to join the channel membership, tiers do start as low as three bucks and you will have my undying love and support. You will get to see your name in all these videos and you will get the exclusive members only video every now and then. But if that's too much of a commitment, that's fine. If you still want to help monetarily support the video without committing to like a big old membership, you can hit the super thanks button. It's almost like a little tip jar. But for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I really hope you enjoyed us unboxing and checking out Balasong Flipping's new Polaris. A huge shout out to Balasong Flipping for sending this thing over. Definitely go check out his channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know and help the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, maybe share the video around. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. We are so close to 15,000 subscribers. It's making my nipples pucker. So if we could get to 15K by the end of the year, that would be sweet. Also, if you want to see some just pure flipping clips, you can go check out my Instagram at DendaNBMX. But I am done being a tool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,